Good morning, Michelle here. I have a break, or I took a break today from cookie making and decided to do a video because the weather is nice for one. It's like 60 degrees out here right now, so it's not bitter cold. And um, I just, I needed a break. So I figured instead of going to the gym and doing a workout, I figured I'd do one of my ones here and give you guys a new workout. So this one is called the Stopwatch Banded Workout because everything is going to be um, repetitions uh, so you're not going we're not going to do any hit no 10 and 50 10 and 40 whatever it's all going to be uh, ca uh, countdown so 14 reps 15 reps uh, I'll go through them and, ex and tell you them and uh, I use bands at the gym because the day that I did it, I think it was a Saturday, uh, I got in there, a girl got in there before me. Would you believe that she took over the Smith machine and didn't get off of it the entire workout? So like 70 some minutes, I think, with my warm up and everything, and she used it the entire time. So I thought, well, screw it. <laughs> and I grabbed my bands and I hooked them to some equipment and I did everything with um, the bands either around my legs, uh, a smaller band or one of the longer bands. So um, it's okay if you don't have a longer band, you can put the band around your legs above your knees and you'll get a banded workout as well. So I'll show you the variations and some of the other ones I do have as a band. So it's entirely uh, a shorter band. It's entirely up to you and what you have. I know it looks like I have a lot here, but that's what I did. I sort of collected everything on the floor and um, um, put it beside me and just got creative. So that's what we're that's what we're doing today. So I am gonna start my watch because I did not do that. And we are gonna warm it up. Arch it out. Gotta put my gloves on just in case I start sweating. It's okay if you don't have the equipment that I have. Um, I just have different things out here for variations. It's all right if you don't use anything. Uh, the workout can be done without any bands or any tubes. You don't really, you don't need them. Inhale and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time, inhale and exhale. March it wide. We're gonna go into toe taps, right and left, right and left, four. We're gonna reach overhead, press it up. Warming up from head to toe. Four, three, two and one sweep it across the chest keep those toe taps four more four three two and one heels back hamstrings press the arms down Four, three, two, and one. Knees up, bring the arms down. Pull the knees up to the chest, engage the core. Don't bring your chest to the knees. Four, three, two, one. Heels to the front, out. There's four, three, two, and one. Tap them behind, back, press. I forgot to tell you, the leggings that I have on, I got them off of Amazon on Black Friday. 
colorful koala leggings is what the name of them is and uh, they're super cool they have a seamless waistband last one here hold it hold the right leg back raise up so no uh, elastic at the top of the waistband it's seamless they do have other ones that have pockets i didn't get the ones with the pockets uh, i like the the green pattern on it the ones with pockets were blue and i have so much blue so we're gonna hold it here and you're gonna pelvic tilt and pull it in but they were $21.99 and they have compression. Hold it here, pelvic tilt down, and you're gonna pull that right leg in, pull that left leg up, stretch out that the back of the leg, the hamstring down into the calf. And um, they feel like a second skin there. They're smooth, sort of not really super shiny material, but dry really quickly, nice compression, um, not super, super tight, uh, but I like them. So we're gonna give them the sweat test today and roll it up, tuck the head, switch legs, left leg's gonna go back and you're gonna raise up and down. Lift onto the toe, lift up and down. We did these for quite a while, didn't we? Because I was talking. Four more. Four, three, two. You're gonna hold it, drop the knee, pelvic tilt, get that hip flexor right here. And then we're gonna slide the left leg in. Right leg is gonna come up. Stretch out that hamstring and that calf. Now I will have the breakdown below the video. So there are four different circuits on here. And like I said, we are gonna go for um, numbers, repetitions, and rounds. Tuck the head, roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, flat back all the way down. Plant the right hand, bend the right knee, reach up, open up that shoulder, Bring it back down, flat back. Inhale, bend that left leg, left hand to the floor, right arm up, exhale. Bring that hand down, tuck the head, roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Sorry, I have to turn my back to you. So it's gonna be front raise and a curl. Front raise and a bicep curl. Front raise, curl, there's three, four, five, squat with a front raise, shoulder height. So you're gonna go squat, and then you're gonna rotate the arms back. Squat down, rotate back. Four. Six. Halfway there. Seven. Two more, two, and one. Woo. Squat with an alternating side leg lift. 
and we are doing 30 of these each 15 each leg two three Five more. Four. Two. And one. Whew. Okay. Now, I used the band on these ones. And I did a front bench lunge. So I hook the band up around my hips because I couldn't get on the Smith machine. Front lunge. Five more. Five. Four. There's two. And one. I did use the purple band and I have the lower one attached, but I wasn't sure if it, I'd be too far out of the frame of the video. I might try it for the second round. It's pretty easy. All right, now we go down mountain climbers. So I dropped down and we did 20 reps. One, Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Pop up, kettlebell swings. Twenty of these. One. Here's 15, five more. Two, one. Woo! All right. Get a drink if you need one. So, round two. Raise up and a curl. If you don't have those, you can do raise up, curl, two, curl, three, four, five, six. I'm not doing heavy weights because I don't want to hurt my shoulder. You do the weight that you feel comfortable doing. I really like the tubes for the resistance. Here's 10, we have five more. Five. Four. Sorry about that, four. <laughs> 
three, two, okay, one more. And then if you don't have the bands, the next one would be a squat, open up and squeeze, two, three, four, six, halfway there, seven, eight, two more. And 12. Ooh, this one feels heavy. <laughs> one. Seven. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. And one. Band. We're going to do the front lunge. Then, if you want to leave the band on for mountain climbers, you'll place your hands on the bench. to get the movement down first get comfortable with the distance of the band make sure you're dropping your knee to the floor towards the floor last one one and then into a plank position Ten more, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And we have kettlebell swing. And we have one more round. Twenty of these. more. Five. Ooh. Grab a drink if you need one. Towel off. It's cool out here, so I'm not sweating like I normally do. All right. If you don't have a long tube, I'm not sure if I can do this with this one. Raise up, curl in. You wanna keep the resistance on the band. Two, two. There's five. You can drop it all the way down if you want to. Six. Seven, pull out. 
eight, nine. See how my left elbow flares out because of it hurting. Three more, three, two, and one. Woo! One, open it up, two, three, roll those shoulders back, squeeze those rhomboids, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, two, and one. Drop that band. Squat, side leg raise. Two. Four. Eight. Five more. Five. Four. Two. And one. Band. Bench lunge, round the hips, walk out, resistance, one, make sure you have enough resistance so that when you drop that knee to the ground, towards the ground, you're not going forward with that top leg. You're planting and holding and then dropping the knee down. Here's seven, eight. Like I said, you can hold weights if you want to. Arms should probably be a little fatigued. Two more, two, are you ready for? You can do regular mountain climbers or banded mountain climbers. Entirely up to you, plank position. Four, five, six. Ten more, ten, nine. Four, three, two, one. Kettlebell swings are next. Ten more. Ten. Second circuit. I'm gonna use that band again. Like I said, I used it for most of the workout. Three rounds. Get, get into your band. Don't trip. We've got inner thigh lunges, so you're gonna turn the toes out. Two o'clock and 10 o'clock. I think 
think I did hold the kettlebell for this one because we go into a squat with a deadlift. Eight. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Keep that band on. You go deadlift, squat down. Two, three, four, five. or a knee tuck burpee, or a clean and press. So, reach up. Five more. each foot so it's 20 so I stayed on the ball for these and you go one two three five seven eight ten Bicep curl with side raise. So I stood on the two and I did a curl, side raise. Three, four, six, seven. It's a bent arm side raise. Nine, ten, one more, twelve, and we go back to the beginning. Towel off, grab a drink, take a break if you need to. We're going back to those inner thigh lunges. If you don't have a, if you don't have a long band and you have a short band, you can do it with that. You put it around and up your knees, up above your knees, and you would go right two o'clock, left ten o'clock. A little harder. There we go. There we go. Three, you can put your hands behind your head. Good. 
there's eight. Oh, my boxes are sliding. I didn't want to carry out the big step. Nine. Here's 12. And 15. Woo. Deadlift to squat. One. Four. Squeeze that butt when you come up. And one. We have the overhead ball slam or the kick-ass burpee. So if you don't have a ball, you would go one, two, three, five more. One more. Woo! Slow mountain climbers. Again, no ball. One. Five. Halfway there. Six. Eight, nine, and ten. Tube or biceps or dumbbells. Tube or biceps. Curl, raise up. Five, halfway there. Here's seven, two more, two, and one. Whew, one more round. Towel off, grab a drink if you need one. You can choose whatever you want to use. If you want, you can grab that kettlebell or a bar, whatever you have. You can do the bands around the legs with this band.
nine. This one's 10. We have five more. There's five, four, two, and one. Deadlift to squat. Squeeze up. Two. where you can do a clean and press. Everybody should know a clean and press, but if you don't, I'll show you one, two, couple, one. Engage the core, two, three, Reach up with that weight, engage the core. Five more. Five. Four. Two. And one. You can use dumbbells, you can use a bar, kettlebell, and then slow mountain climbers. One, two, six, Here's 10. Woo. Dumbbell curl, side raises. Roll up, curl up, side raise. Two, three, halfway there. Six, five, two, and one. All right, grab a drink, towel off. exercises and the repetitions as we go so you know we're doing a front bench lunge front bench crossover lunge so we're gonna cross over get that band around the hips I think I had it lower at the gym I think the uh, piece of equipment I was on had a lower bar so if you can get it lower if you can't you just have to might you might have to push your bench out just a little bit further and I was doing twists. Let's get this down here right. Okay, so are you ready? We're gonna go one, two, three, four, Ooh. Nine, 
five more. Four. Two. And one. Stand around the legs. We're going to do a wide sumo squat, step together, and you're going to do a bicep curl. So you're going to one, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, and fifteen. Woo! We're going to hold in that plie position and you're going to pulse down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you're going to hold down and you're going to pulse up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And comes off. Made this fall. Now, you're gonna do an overhead slam to the right, like so, and you lunge back. If you don't have a ball to do an overhead slam, you're gonna step around like so, around the world. If you do, you're gonna slam down, okay? Try not to do it on the seam so it doesn't get away from you. So, we're gonna do right, uh, over to the right, then over to the left. And we've got 15 of each of these. So again, if you're not slamming, you're around the world clockwise, and you're lunging back, left leg. Let's go. side so you go counterclockwise if you're not going over the head with a slam all right one five more with the tube. So you're gonna raise up and out. Two, three, four, half 
halfway there. Six. Five. Three. Two. And one. We're gonna go through that again on round two. I'm gonna keep the ball over here. Hook up to the band, or you can use the smaller band, whatever you like. I'll do the smaller band for the last set for you. Show you. Hands go behind the head, cross over, and you're gonna twist. the band off. Wide plie squat. Step together. Bicep curl to the side you're stepping to. Five. Six. Nine. 10, five more, four, three, two, and one. Wide plie, you can hold the ball if you want to, and you're gonna pulse down to eight, nine, 10, now hold it up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Step together. If you want to, if you have the band on and you want to take it off, again, around the world, clockwise, or over. Here's around the world. We're working the obliques. Five. Five more, five, four, and one. Other way, you go counterclockwise. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Or four. Five more, five, three, two, and one. Front raise to side raise. Stand on your tube. Front raise, side raise. 
two, three, There's eight. Two more. Two. And one. Ooh. Shake it out. We have one more round. One more round of these. And then we have circuit four. Okay. If you don't have a long band and you're using the band around your knees, you're going to put your hands on your head. Ooh, I'm soaking wet. And you're going to lunge and twist. One. together. One. around the world. Hold down, you're gonna pulse one, two, three. You can hold the weight low if you want to. And hold, and you're gonna pulse up. Two, four, eight, nine, ten. Again, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you're gonna hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't have to hold weights for those, and you don't have to have the bands on for those if you don't want. It's entirely up to you. My legs are on fire. I hope yours are too. Okay, so, if you don't have a ball and you're doing around the world and you have a dumbbell at the end, you're gonna circle around. Three. I'm doing it wrong, sorry. Two. Let's get this right. Three. Four, 
two and one. Now you go counterclockwise this way. One, two, seven, eight, five more, five, Two and one. Two band dumbbells, whatever you want to use. Front raise and a side raise. eight, nine, two more, two, and one. Woo! All right. Step into the band. Okay, so you got your band. You're going to do a side lunge, clean up, front bench lunge, or a front lunge, hold with a shoulder press, back down. One, Five more. Five. Four. sideways. You're going to do a side lunge and a bicep curl. The band's a little high. Let's see if we can get this. Side lunge, bicep curl. Side lunge and a curl. switch hands. And you're going to go side lunge, clean up, front lunge, shoulder press. Two, four, 
three. Four. There's 14, and then we have one more, and then we're turning to face the right wall. Band down. Side lunge, and a squat. Two, and a squat. Three, you can use the kettlebell or you can do one hand at a time. Here's seven, eight, nine, One more, 12. Get those inner thighs. Woo. All right. Cardio move. From bench lunge to reverse lunge, jump switch. All right. So you go front bench, reverse, Reverse, jump switch. Front bench, reverse, and a jump switch. Starting with the right leg. Front bench, reverse, jump switch. Two, three, four, five, Six. Having a hard time here. Seven. Nine. And ten. I'll turn that so I'm corner to corner and I'm not hopping on anything. All right, two more rounds. So, if you don't have a, a band to hook up, you can do your little band around your knee. Around your knees, above your knees, around your legs. You will do a right side lunge, and then you will do a front right lunge side lunge, clean up, lunge, and a shoulder press. Side lunge, clean up, and then a shoulder press. Sorry, it's a front lunge, hold, shoulder press. There we go. Just in case you're doing a heavier weight, don't compromise that shoulder. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Five more. Five. 
guys. Four. side lunge. I'm going to face you, but if you're hooked to a band, you're going to need to turn. So you need to turn so that you're still doing the right leg, correct? And if you want, you can use a kettlebell on these. So you would go side lunge to a squat, two, three. I like doing individual and focusing on unilateral on one arm at a time. Other things I like to do both. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And 12. Now we're going to go to the other side. So if you are hooked to the band, you're going to stay this way and you're going to go out and an overhead press. Out, clean in, front lunge, overhead press. Out, clean in, front lunge, overhead press. Five. face turn over the right shoulder so the left leg is out to lead and you're going to go lunge and a bicep curl with a squat two three four five six Seven. for these. You don't have to if you don't want to. You don't need a box. You can do it to the floor. It would be right leg lead, front bench lunge, reverse lunge, jump lunge. Front with the left, 
then the reverse, jump switch. Front, reverse, jump switch. Here's four, reverse lunge, jump switch. Front, reverse, jump switch. Front, reverse, jump switch. Seven, reverse, jump switch. Eight, front, and reverse. Two more. Nine. Here's 10. Woo! All right, one more round. switch legs. Turn to the front. You're going to side lunge. Front and overhead press. Side lunge. Five more. Five. Four. 
three. One more. We're still using the left leg, right? Yes. So turn. You have a left side lunge, bicep curl and squat. Two. Three. Four. Five. We're halfway there. switch 10 of these then we're going to the cool down front lunge reverse jump switch two front lunge reverse here's five six Seven, nine, and ten. Whew. Let's take it down to the cool down. I hear the neighbors. Hi, Omar. We're going to take it down and cool down. Lay down on your back. We did a lot of leg work. Pull that right knee into the chest. Stretch out the hip flexors. You're gonna take that right knee in the left hand, pull it over the left leg. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to try and push your toe down and lift your heel up and feel that stretch all the way down the IT band. So you'll feel it in the outer glute. So don't just drop over. Yeah, I know you feel it in the waist, but pull it over that left leg and then raise that heel up so that you feel the stretch in the glute and the, uh, down the IT band, down the outer part of the thigh. Keep that left, right arm on the floor, open up that palm and stretch out that shoulder. Now you're gonna bring that right leg back up to a figure four. You're gonna cross it over the left and you're gonna pull in on that left leg. Stretch out that right leg, feel that stretch. You're gonna cross that right leg over the left, grab a hold of the toes, and pull in on the feet, and feel the stretch in the hips. You should feel it in the top leg the most. So if your right leg's on top, you should feel it in the right hip more this time. You're gonna uncross those feet, you're gonna grab a hold of the outer part of the feet. Now, when you pull down, don't pull down with your arms. We're in happy baby pose. Squeeze your back into the floor and use your arms like you do with the kettlebells. They are a lever. So squeeze the back in, feel that stretch in the thighs, but you shouldn't feel it in the arms. You should be squeezing the back into the floor and you'll feel it more in the legs and less in the arms. 
Bring those legs in, drop the feet to the floor, knees face the ceiling, windshield wiper those legs, left and right. Stretch out the hips. And we're gonna do everything on the left leg. Hold it here. You're gonna pull the left leg in, take the right leg out, pull it up beside the chest. Stretch out that hip flexor. Feel that stretch in the hamstring. You're gonna take that right hand and grab a hold of that left knee. And you're gonna drop it over the right leg. Keep the right leg facing up. And then raise that heel up on that left leg and feel that stretch in the glute and all the way down the IT band, down the outer part of the thigh. You'll feel a nice stretch in the IT band. So you put the weight, a little bit of weight on that knee, but raise that heel up if you can. It doesn't have to go high, but just enough that you feel it stretch the outer part of the leg. Don't forget to keep your core engaged. And the left hand is on the floor. You're gonna release that left leg and you're gonna cross it over the right leg. You're gonna bend that right leg and you're gonna pull in on the back of the right leg. Stretch out the hip. If you can, you can uh, take your elbow, your left elbow to your left knee and feel that stretch. Cross the left leg over the right, grab a hold of the feet, pull in. Now, if your left leg is on top, you'll feel it more in the left hip as you pull those legs in. Again, you're not pulling with the arms, you're contracting the back and pushing into the floor and you'll feel that stretch in the legs and you won't be fatiguing the arms. The arms are just holding on, your hands are holding on to the legs or onto the feet. Release those legs, unwind them. Grab a hold of the outside of the feet. Push that back into the floor. Release the legs, grab behind the legs, roll up about three times until you come to a seated position. Bring the legs out in front, flex the feet, deep breath, inhale, exhale, drop the chest over the legs. You want that head to be like the turtle shell, pull out of the turtle shell. You don't want your head dropping down, you want your chest lowering down towards the thighs. Stretch out the hamstrings and the glutes. When you drop your head, it is more of a lower back stretch. So you wanna keep the head pulling forward out of that turtle shell. And if you can't reach the feet, lower the hands to the floor or the elbows to the floor or the hands to the shins, wherever you feel comfortable and let the, let the upper body fall over the legs. And the longer you hold in this position, the more your muscles are gonna release and you're gonna be able to go a little bit lower and a little bit lower every time. So uh, it's called yin yoga and they hold the holds longer. We're not gonna do that, but I'm just saying at the end of the night, if you're stretching and you want to become more flexible, you sort of just have to sit here and let those muscles get used to it. And then you'll eventually be able to go a little bit lower. And then you just hold until it, it feels, you know, starts to feel really good and your muscles start to relax a little bit more and give a little bit more. And each time you'll be able to go lower and lower. We're gonna walk the hands back up. You're gonna take that right leg and you're gonna cross it over the left. You're gonna bring the right hand to the floor and the left arm up. Bring the left arm over the right leg. Twist around, keep that right arm 
in up against the chat or up against the side of the back and you're going to twist around and look over and down at the floor on the right side feel a nice stretch in that left shoulder feel that stretch through the obliques down the side it. Hold it here, cross that left leg in, and the right leg is going to go on top. You're going to walk out in front, and then you're going to walk over to the right side and lower down. Feel a nice stretch in this hip. So the right leg is pushing that left leg into the floor, and as you lean over to the right, you'll feel this hip flexor and this hip opening up, and you'll get a really nice stretch. Walk it back around and back in. You're gonna take that right hand down to the floor and you're gonna bring that left arm up and over and you're gonna pull that head out of the turtle shell. So you're not rounding in like this. You're opening up, lower that elbow to the floor if you can. Come on up, bring that hand to the head Keep the right hand on the floor and pull the head towards the left corner. Don't yank down on it. Pull it up and then if you can, pull in on that shoulder and open up that neck. Lower that right hand down. Release the left hand. Bring the head up, circle it counterclockwise. And circle it the opposite way. Hold it here, bring the legs back out. One more time, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, fold over. This time, tuck the head, round the back, feel that stretch in the lower back, down through the glutes. Walk the hands back in. Right leg is gonna go up and over, and you're gonna take that left arm, oh, sorry about, no, I'm sorry. Left leg is gonna go up and over. Right arm is gonna go up, left arm goes behind. Plant it next to the body, open, twist to the left. Feel that stretch in the shoulder. We gotta get some shoulder stretches in here because we did so many moves with the bands and the tubes for the upper body. And release it, bring it back around. You're gonna bring that right leg in and bend it and cross that left leg over. You're gonna take and walk out in front and over to the left. You should feel that stretch in the right hip and thigh. And you'll feel that through the side. You'll feel it pull up through the obliques as well. So you sort of wanna be looking down at that. It'd be your right foot on the bottom or your left knee. Walk it back around to the front and walk in. Bring that left hand over, bend, bring that right arm up. Head is out of the turtle shell, so you're reaching high. If that's too much, cross that hand behind the head, but you wanna open up and feel that stretch through the chest and the shoulders, as well as the waist. Try and keep this sit bone on the floor, so if you can't, if you can't go all the way over, which I can't on this side either, you go to where you're making sure that you keep the hip bone sitting, or the sit bone on the floor. Then you're gonna bring it up, and you're going to pull up and out on that head, and you can take that left arm to the left shoulder and open it up. Lower 
Lower that left hand down, release that right hand, bring the head to the front, tilt down and up, down and up. One more time, down and up. You don't wanna crane your neck. Undo those legs, come onto the hands and knees. Deep breath, inhale. And you're gonna do a cat, so you're gonna pull, or cow pose, you're gonna pull the head out and the tailbone out. Exhale, round the back. Again, inhale. And exhale. Press back. Push the heels to the floor, downward facing dog. You want to engage the back. So you're pushing back through the arms. Press the heels into the floor. Engage the core. Right leg is gonna come up. We're gonna pull forward with that right leg and you're gonna go into pigeon pose. Now, in pigeon pose, you wanna make sure that you're on your quad. You don't wanna be rolling over to that right hip, so you wanna stay balanced. So right here, you're gonna cross that right arm under and you're gonna look to the right and feel that stretch in that right shoulder. Keep the quadricep and the shin on the floor. Stay lined up. Feel that stretch in the hip on the right side. Glute, piriformis in the, in the back of the glute. Pull that right arm through. Come up onto that left foot. Bring the right foot outside of the right hand. Drop the knee down and lower down into a lizard pose. Let the knee fall out. Feel that stretch in the hip. If you want to rock it a little bit, you can rock it. Stretching out the hips and the quads. Bring that right hand up and the left. Come up onto the hands and knees, press back. You can either go into a chaturanga, I'm not going to do that. And an upward facing dog. Push back into your downward facing dog. Raise that left leg up, pull forward. Pigeon pose is first. Stay on the quadricep of that right leg. Lower down if you can. Left arm is gonna go through. You're gonna look to the left, stretch out that left shoulder. Make sure you're balancing on the quad and the shin. Quad of the right leg, shin and knee of the left. And look over to the left as far as you can and stretch out that shoulder. Feel that stretch across the back. it come back up plant the hands come up onto that right toe bring that left leg up and outside of that right, that left hand drop the right knee drop down into the elbows again you want to pull that head out of the turtle shell right you're not tucked under like this rounding that back you want to stretch it out and then you can rock if you want and stretch out that hip on that left side Bring that left hand to the floor, then the right. Come up onto that right foot. Pull back into a plank if you want. Chaturanga down. Upward facing dog. I can't put that much pressure on my shoulder. I can't do push-ups yet. And then push back into a downward facing dog. Deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Bend those legs, hop forward, plant the hands, deep breath, inhale, flat back, exhale, drop the head, roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath, inhale, overhead, hands to prayer hands and down to the chest, exhale. 
that was your workout for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to thumbs up it. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and share it with some friends. See you soon.